Prost! Prost. <lacht> Wait. Prost, Joshua. The cash culture in Germany is really annoying. I personally want to be the first one to say I feel really bad that Josh has to come home and freelance. He only makes minimum wage. He can't afford a lawyer, all right? All these trips he's going on, I haven't heard what the next one's going to be, but unfortunately, the Germany tirade comes to an end, and for the most part, he was pretty well behaved. He was just doing some drinky poos, he was doing some going to bar -y poos, he was slam doink -a poos I mean, he was doing all the poos nonstop, and I'm just curious as to what the next chapter is, right? Because in the background, and we're going to talk about this towards the end of the video, the whole Mr. Bass situation going on with the documentary that came out. Also, I want to acknowledge some people have been saying, don't call him Mr. Bass anymore, just call him Jason. So I'll call him Jason. I'll, I'll do that. And, but it can be kind of confusing because everybody knows Mr. Bass is Mr. Bass, not by Jason, but whatever. That whole situation is going on in the background. Michael Quinn shows up out of nowhere, and Josh just can't be bothered. Any controversy that comes into the world of t-shirt verse is just quickly brush to the side and we just move on about our day it's it's quite perplexing this man is like cancel proof he just brushes it pushes it shoves it to the side in order to get his next twisted tea in i really respect that of him and there's one moment that i didn't include in the intro montage of him doing in germany that i want to talk about real quick So I don't know what it is about Josh and all of his trips. He's turning into like one of those stock image photos of a briefcase with a bunch of stickers of places that you travel to on it. That's literally what his body is transforming into. And he hasn't had great tattoos up to this point, but I think this one's the worst. And, and you know, a Stein is a little bit difficult because it's semi phallic on the top anyway to start off with, but... This one's looking bad. The line works really, really, really bad. And it just, it doesn't look great. He's also like not a huge beer guy. Now, we saw that he drank some beers in the intro montage because when in Rome, I guess, or in this case, when in Berlin, but I don't know, man. Like, you could have done a Jaeger bottle. And like, here's another, here's another wild take, all right? You know, this might be sacrilege to somebody like only use me blade, but... If I have to choose like a Central Europe liquor to enjoy, it's not Jaeger. I'm I I like Schnapps more. All right, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm putting that out there. I think Schnapps is better than Jaeger. I still like Jaeger. Regardless, this is all getting to the point that he could have done anything. He could have put a Wiener Schnitzel. That would have been even more phallic, but at least it would make a little bit more sense and. Who knows, maybe the line work would look a little bit better. You could say, ah, it's just cooked to perfection. But regardless, we get some, uh, how do you say, like creeper shots of Josh throughout his trip in Germany. And we'll go through and we'll evaluate some of those. You had to prove, yeah, like, every day. You to did the test. regime, like, stop random people outside and ask for a test? No, but they, they asked at every door. So if you wanted to go shopping, then you had to show a test. Otherwise, they But like you bars in. were closed, right? Restaurants yeah, 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 yeah. were closed. Yeah. Only essential yeah. stores yeah. were allowed to open. So you gotta love this. He's he's having a conversation about the whole shutdown that was going on. He was singing his praises of a total Larson victory owning all the houses in Congress, all the judicial system, total Larson victory. World of T-shirts, very happy about that. But 
Of course, he wants to have a discussion because he's heard things. You know, this is a worldly man. He's only gone to 10 countries at this point, all right? He's living on minimum wage. He doesn't have time to sit back and research all these things, to really just sink through the data of everything. He wants to go to the source like a true journalist and get the information himself. And obviously, the most important question he had, were bars an essential service here? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying, I think World of Teachers is, ju is just trying to map out whenever the next potential shutdown comes in the world, where can he go to still get his drinky poos, all right? Where is he going to go that he's not going to be locked up inside of his hotel room? Actually, that's a great question at this point. Since he doesn't have an actual residence, what happens? What happens? Let's just say tomorrow, you know, monkeypox 2, outbreak, Josh, you know subject zero at this point he doesn't have an address is he gonna dole out thousands of dollars on a hotel room for like two years i don't know that's an interesting dilemma he needs to find out what countries are gonna have their bars open during the next pandemic quickly otherwise i i'm deeply concerned for his safety now the next clip that we're gonna look at is him enjoying some alone time, I guess you could say, having a drink all by himself, and honestly just being kind of normal. And it's a bit odd to see World of T-shirts have a normal experience. Now I'm kind of conflicted about these series of clips here because on one hand I feel like everybody should be able to get their own privacy. On the other hand, Josh is a completely public figure, so it should be kind of expected that people would take out their phones to record him. I just don't really, I don't know, the whole premise of it, I mean, you know, I'm throwing stones in the glass house as a guy that talks about this dude, right? Like, I, I don't, I can't stand on my soapbox much higher than the other people. I just think, you know, he's not really acting crazy here yeah you know he's picking his ear he's picking his nose he's going back to picking his ears he's you know he's mixing all of his fluids together you know it's just what boys are doing just boys hanging out he's giggling at his phone or whatever he's he's doing his ticks as normal whatever but he's just fine he's chilling there and it, like from like a nature documentary point of view it's kind of interesting because most of the time that you ever see josh online it's him doing something, whether it's him doing a drinky poo, him having a freaky outy poo. Is is the poo joke getting dumb yet? It's probably really dumb at this point. So like, he, he's usually having a meltdown or doing a drink or doing a TikTok or whatever. And we don't really see this downtime a whole lot because even when there is downtown, downtown, downtime on like a Mr. Bass stream, it's quickly subsided by Mr. Bass bringing in some lady or somebody yelling off the streets, or whatever. You know, some sort of crazy antic is coming out of there. With this, I feel like you're getting a glimpse a little bit. He's just, you know, on his phone, not really talking to anybody. He's picking and eating and doing the whole shebang with his body. But, like, it's interesting. That's just what I wanted to get to, and I'm conflicted about whether or not I feel like he should be, you know, paparazzi kind of. I don't know. It's weird. Shaw. Put the fries in the bag. Shut up! Oh my god. <laughs> Josh, put the fries in the bag! Put the fries! Josh, put the fries in the bag, Josh! Put the fries in the bag, Josh! Yeah! <laughs>
can't be throwing around that Z word, Mr. Mr. World of T-shirts. This is the part we were all afraid of. We were afraid he was going to do a certain salute. We were afraid he was going to say a certain word. But it's okay, you know. He, he's, he only makes minimum wage. He can't take this shit no more. He's running like some sort of German super soldier in slow motion as he's plodding down the street after these two guys. And, you know... I've said it in my previous video about Boogster that Keemstar has killed the put the fries in the bag meme anymore. You, like, I get it. It's sort of like your sleeper cell activation code for Josh. You say it. A freak out is almost 100% confirmed to ensue after that. But, but we can't be having people like Keemstar throwing it out there during a presidential election tweet. And, and expect it to still be funny, alright? We can't. I'm putting my foot down on that. Put the fries in the bag. It's donezo. You know, put the sauerkraut on the plate. You know, I, I, put the schnitzel in my mouth. I, you know, whatever you want to say in a conjunction to that, I'll let it slide. But this, obviously, this is the biggest freak out that we got from Josh. He chases after these guys a little bit. I think he was hanging out with a group of similar age dudes for a little bit during his time here it seemed like he was out until like four or five in the morning every single night would go back to his hotel room and wake up at like 4 p.m <laughs> and then go back out and do it all over again and then get on his plane and fly back home so that's kind of what his trip was as i mentioned we're going to talk about the minor michael quinn video of him attending a Mr. Bass exposed party by Alex Norvell. Jason Itzler is a sick bastard, but he's a genius. So basically, you should probably approach him and talk to him. So it's the same thing with Daniel Larson. I spoke to Itzler. I said, listen, can you leave Josh alone? Why don't we get together? Maybe he, maybe you could be part of his tour. Maybe you could stop off at your apartment first. So that's kind of how the four, I mean, he already met him on the street, but that's how I kind of connected him to Jason, to who Jason would f*** off. That's basically the story. But I definitely did a great job. And it's one of the best documentaries. It's about a dozen documentaries that kind of demonize me. So that's basically it. Michael Quinn shows up to the documentary that was released on Jason and starts to talk about how much of a genius Mr. Based, a.k.a. Jason Ashley is and how you just have to go up and talk to him and interact with him. It's really weird because you have the worst person in the world talking shit about the worst person in the world while at the same time also lifting up the worst person in the world. It's a, uh, we're, we're stuck in a vortex of just complete confusion at this point, but I want to include it. That way we have a document. M Michael Quinn shows up once again. There have been times that he's shown up on like FaceTime calls with different people during the Jason Mr. Beast Mr. Beast, Mr. Based universe. So, you know, he, he hasn't completely disappeared into the ether, but maybe he's going to try and stage some sort of coup to get Josh back. I don't know what the whole goal was because obviously Quinn was not a good manager for Josh. He just tried to hide Josh's drinking, but still openly advocated for him to continue the drink, just not on camera. So pick your poison at that point. If you're around Mr. Based, I advise you to uh, avoid the conversation of poison if I'm keeping it 100. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.